And then you come up behind me and do that? <laughs> is, is that what you want? <laughs> you guys, we're trying to figure out a cool intro for you. Mm. Maybe, oh, here's an idea. What? Maybe we just, just uh, start talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and that was. So this is my boyfriend, Will, if you haven't noticed already. And uh, we just wanted to do a sit down video and actually introduce Will because he kind of just popped up in the video and all of a sudden he's just, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, there was no real proper introduction and then I just made my way into some vlogs. <laughs> and it's been very jarring for a lot of you, I'm sure. Yeah, it's very upsetting. Or at least that's what we're assuming. It's very upsetting? <laughs> no. To who? I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a few people who are upset there by it for sure. Coming. We are going to just kind of you know, introduce Will and talk about how we met and all that. And then if you guys have any questions, any burning questions you want answered, you can leave them down below and we will do another video because one thing about William is he makes it so easy to do videos because he's so fun and so creative and talented so I feel like he just inspires me to film more so you guys always want me to film more and uh, uh, this is seems to be the the key why did I keep putting my arm around you like right this is my hey how you doing it's my <laughs> how about I put my arm around you hey this is my girl Can we film? <laughs> Alright guys, we're here in Tahiti. I've been instructed to frame her out until she is ready to be on camera. So look at all these amazing things. <laughs> we're here getting a rental car. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we're in puppy! I'm your pepito. And he's my pepito. And I'm his papita. And we're looking for something to eat, but it's Sunday and apparently... Somebody's closed. Yeah. And they don't follow traditional timelines. It's island life. But we're going to head down to our Airbnb. Airbnb. And uh, there's probably a cool local spot down there. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll let you know if we find food or if we end up starving. Luckily, I brought lots of snacks. In the checked luggage. Half the checked luggage is snacks. Yeah. Look at that. Got raw fish, rice. Listen, for our first meal in Tahiti, not bad. All right, you guys. So, unfortunately, I've been feeling a bit under the weather because Will loves to give me his sickness every time I see him. It's true. So, uh, we found, this is very exciting, some 100% pure Tahitian noni. Now this stuff is supposed to be powerful. It's supposed to heal you of every ailment under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's supposed to be really good if you're feeling under the weather. So we are just going to start taking shots of noni and we're going to have our first shot right now. Let's do it. Cheers. Mm. It's not bad at all. It's like almost bad, but it's it's pretty good. Yeah. I feel <laughs> energized already. Same. So I thought 
we would first maybe start by introducing who you are. Okay. What you do. What is the self, you know? What is this construct of identity that we've placed on each other? Just partially kidding. Okay, uh, my name's Will. I'm from Miami, Florida originally. I've been kind of an entertainment, an actor, uh, mostly a host these days. I host a TV show called Random Acts where people get nominated and we do nice things for nice people who are do-gooders in their community and it's pretty awesome. It's a great job because I get to fly around and uh, go to different places and surprise people with awesome things. I would say that I'm a, a feeler, love people. I've never met an uninteresting person and so I connect with people and so I think that's why uh, they keep me around on the show and that's why I enjoy doing the show because I meet these people and I and I, I see their heart and, uh, and, and I love them, so. Uh, in addition to that, I, I do acting and different things like that. I've had some uh, parts on, on fairly big shows. A part on Community, I was uh, Miguel's son and This Is Us. Maybe you've seen my ad for protein going around pretty recently. Transparent uh, Labs. Transparent Labs. American Protein. Or, yeah, grass-fed, grass-finished American Protein. Oh, see, he's holistic too. I'm very holistic. He is actually. They paid me money and I did the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get more holistic than that. Had it not been... A holistic product, I would not have done it for um, it as little GMO money. Corn. If it was a GMO laden, I think that's true though. Genius. If it was like an awful, awful product, I don't think I would do it. No. Is that it? Is that, that's way more than anybody wants to know about I me. love it. No, because I want them to know this about you because Will is, you guys, I'm not just saying this because he's my boyfriend. He is the most, I always say this, he's the most talented man in the world. He is. And he has the biggest heart. He's so kind. He is just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're slouching. And he's helping me on my posture. This girl has awful posture. I'm just gonna throw it out. You can't tell in the videos probably, but like she she will go <laughs> from, let's show them, like literally go. I'm always like She'll be driving day. in the car next to me and I look over, I'm, I'm like, just, where did my gorgeous model girlfriend I'm go? Just like this, Cause she's day. like, Rrr. and then I'm like, hey, this and all of a sudden stuff. she turns in. You don't, you don't go, hey, you go, toots up. I don't know. Why would you? Okay, we're not putting that in there, are we? Yes, we are. It's, that's it's the truth. And we are honest people. That is what we go by. It's, it's not honest. vulgar, though. When I was in eighth grade, I had um, a, a drama teacher. I was in uh, Miss Andron, Mrs. Andron. And she would say, tits to the wind. And everybody knew that like when you were on stage doing theater, she would say, tits to the wind. But you and know you what? Put, and so I say, tits up. But for me, he says mosquito bites. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't. I've never. But now I'm going to start now. <laughs> Other than that, I have nine sisters and and a brother. So that's a big thing about me. I have a lot of sisters. Big Cuban family. Big Cuban family. So the next question I wrote down is where did we meet or how did we meet? We actually met through her brother, Simon who's a talented musician, and he was buddies with my roommate in Los Angeles um, at the time. Basically, I knew of Will because I heard of him through my brother. I thought I followed you on Instagram first. I believe I followed you, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe we both followed each other at exactly the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> oh, that was 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Yeah. I commented on his video and I was like, oh, you're so hilarious. And because I was. Actually, we should put some of the comments from 12 years ago. So this shows how long we've known of each other. But you guys, we only talked, like actually had a conversation with each other a year and a half ago. You know, he slid into the DMs and I okay. am, I... She never checks. I never checked my DMs. Basically, oh, I, I asked her on a FaceTime date. Yeah. I said, listen, I want to go bold. on a FaceTime date. I was bold. He was bold. Uh, I had been, you know, we'd been kind of like exchanging comments, whether on YouTube or on Instagram for 12 years. You know, she's beautiful and she's like this little pixie that oh. that uh, prances around on YouTube. So uh, I needed some holistic hair tips. And so I, I hit her up and she responded, which apparently she doesn't do. Literally the night before Will DM'd me, mm -hmm. I had written a long list of everything that I wanted in a man. And I had just prayed to have the man that I was going to marry. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> And the next day, all of a sudden, Will Rubio, who I always felt very drawn and attracted to him, even though I didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. 
um, but I felt like I knew who he was, like deep within his soul. I felt this connecting. Yeah. What did you think about me before we even met? Like, what was your? Because she has such an active imagination. I could feel your big heart. I thought you were the most hilarious person and he's not hilarious in a vulgar way where some comedians they, they're always swearing and being vulgar talking sexual and stuff but he's he is more just like naturally funny and charming there's something very special about him and i always would say like i don't understand how this man isn't the most like well famous person in the world the most well famous person <laughs> He asked me out on a FaceTime date. So we had a FaceTime date and we talked for a couple hours. Then it took six months for us to even meet in person just mm -hmm. because I was so nervous and everything. Um, but then we met in person last January, actually. A year ago, a year almost ago, exactly. Almost a year ago. Guys, we made it to Morea. It's raining, you can hear the roosters, and I just wanted to give you a little tour of our Airbnb. Over here, we have this gorgeous pool, and then we have this mirror to do an outfit check, and then we have this handsome man, and over there, we have coconuts. Babe, will you break the coconuts open with your bare hands? Oh, yeah. Right now we're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, waiting for a wonderful, uh, we're gonna go sailing in a catamaran. It's gonna be so great. My feet are being eaten alive. Actually, I'll show you guys the bug spray. I found this natural bug spray. Ooh, it has soybean oil as the first ingredient. I thought it was just essential oils. So it has castor oil, citronella, cedar wood, lemon, grass, rosemary, geranium, peppermint oil, water, wintergreen oil. None of it works. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Give me the, give me the deet. Give me the deet. This is deep free. This was another little contraption that I found off uh, Amazon. It is called the bug thing. Oh no, the bug bite thing. And it works, right, babe? I wouldn't be able to tell right now because I have a thousand bites. I think I'm allergic to mosquitoes because I always get big welts, but I used this yesterday on a bite right here. Ooh, it's looking pretty bad. And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but it just takes the itch out. Those are the huts. <laughs> the huts we're going to be staying in? Best huts. Best huts. People are saying they're the best huts. <laughs> so this cat came to visit us at the Airbnb. Oh, that's sweet. He, he made room so I could come sit. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
Welcome to Jurassic Park. Bonjour. Bonjour to Jurassic Park. <laughs> because we are in Morea, French Polynesia. Um, don't know what that accent is. But we are headed up to a waterfall of sorts. And we are on the hunt for what? Shampoo plant. For a shampoo plant. And we are covered because it's riddled with mosquitoes in here. Yeah. And yesterday we got the worst sunburn of our lives. So under our clothing we're blistered and bloody. That is not true. I was like, it wasn't that bad. Oh, warrior two in real life. Look at that. And they said we'd never use it in high school. Follow me guys, I'm gonna bring you to the waterfall. Is this like that meme where the girl's looking back, holding out her hand oh. into adventure? Sure. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Montage. <laughs> Listen, we're in like a, we're right by a cliff face and the GPS signal was not strong and Sarah got attacked by the drone <laughs> and then it, it just fell to the earth and a dog just about like ate it. <laughs> the dog was trying to protect people and it's like, oh, what is that? Get it! <laughs> Look what we found. Tell them what it is, babe. This is a shampoo plant, you guys, so we can wash our hair with this. We're going to show you. Uh, but first, Will is going to reach his hand through the spider <laughs> nest and grab it. You got get, it. Guys, get yourself a man who will go through spider webs to get you shampoo plant. Just harvesting your shampoo, baby. Gotta get that hair all clean. <laughs> this is the most romantic oh, yeah. thing anybody has ever done for me. So juicy. Look at this, you guys. You just squeeze it. Look at all the shampoo that comes out. This is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> you guys, this is awesome. So to go along with the shampoo plant, I'm gonna pick some hibiscus and make a very conditioning hair rinse. So I'm just gonna get a few flowers. Don't mind my dirty hands. We're gonna do a full on Tahiti hair routine. You guys, we got fresh coconuts. You can't get more fresh than that. You can't get more Cheers. fresh than that. Cheers. Okay, so we just made it to our Airbnb in Morea. This second. is the second Airbnb. Uh, and I want to show you guys how cute this is. It's very cute. This is the bedroom and look how cute this is. Look at this view. It's so pretty. And then we have a little kitchen area where we have our coconuts and bananas. So this shampoo plant is also known as Awapui in Hawaii, I believe. Shampoo ginger. There's quite a few different names for it. And it just looks like this. It's got these little blossoms that just fell off. And then you just squeeze it and shampoo comes out. And you wash your hair with this. So next time I wash my hair, I'm gonna use this shampoo ginger to wash it and then the hibiscus hair rinse to condition it. It smells so good. <sighs> I love it so much. This is the coolest thing ever. I guess we can say what our first impression of each other on FaceTime and on in person. I thought you you were way more uh, quiet and reserved than I thought you would be. Mm -hmm. You were very measured in like your comments and in your interaction. I thought since you were an influencer, you would be way more just kind of like, eh, da, 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 I don't know, just mm -hmm. seeking the limelight in a sense or the fanfare or, I don't know, like more influencery, but you are... A little mouse. 
a little mouse. So you are the anti-influencer in a way. Eh? A very quiet mouse. She's a very quiet mouse. Like That's one thing he has trouble with. Yeah. She'll speak to me and I'm like, that cannot be your full voice or like your full volume of just normal speech. Mm -hmm. But it is. She's quite soft-spoken. And I am sometimes loud and gregarious, so. Mm -hmm. But opposites attract. They do. Okay, my first impression of you was you were actually, you had a very calming energy about you, which I was thinking since, you know, in the videos I've seen of him and his stories and everything, he's very kind of loud and you could tell he's an extrovert. When I saw him on FaceTime and met him in person, I was just kind of taken aback by how calm he was and how naturally cool without trying. Like he wasn't, he's never tried to impress me. Or I don't know, <laughs> maybe he has, but. I'm in a perpetual state of trying to impress. <laughs> Once we got to know each other a lot more, it, it always surprises me just how, um, just how goofy and wacky and crazy that she is. And she doesn't show many people, but like she is so brilliantly uh, talented. <laughs> and um, she's actually really great at improv and acting. And so we joke around and we do characters and different things that um, one day we're gonna, you, you're gonna see, we're gonna do what? full on, um, what? Well, I was going to say, in Bora Bora, do your, your character drawing. Oh my character, oh, what is it? A full day here in Bora Bora, we um, basically assumed uh, characters and yes, literally spoke um, in character for <laughs> a full Alex. day. Yes. Had actually intense conversations um, as Okay. These, and in many ways it was easier because it was like um you could express yourself you could express yourself so <laughs> <laughs> you could pretend it's almost like, I feel like some it was, people drink to express themselves but it was, we just put on a character it was an expression for us and it was a, a, yeah, sort of a, a social lubricant in a way yes. and, and we um yes um talked about really important things in this character and um I think mine's a little more refined today versus yeah. what I was. Yes. I don't know, but yeah. Um, <laughs> she's goofy, she's wacky, she's beautiful, she's cute, she's sweet, uh, she's caring, um, she is almost overly conscientious. She cares about you a lot, like the people that watch her, and she wants to be... Her desire for authenticity is is intense like she is on a mission to um, bring out the trueness of her soul and um and sometimes it's at it's at odds with uh with like she she cares so much about others that i think sometimes it it leaks into um people pleasing which we all struggle with and we connect in that way significantly and that's been that's been something that we actually connect on and are able to help each other with because we observe it and see it in ourselves so much that we can kind of hold a mirror to each other and go like hey um you don't need to do that yeah 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 it's actually insane how how opposite we are but yet how similar we are like we're opposite in the way that i'm quiet i'm a mute i don't speak to people very well working on that where will he can talk to anybody you see like anybody this is one thing i love about will is anybody he can walk past anyone and make them feel like they are the most special person in the world and i think that is a gift i always say that his mind is like a piece of it's, it's art really his mind <laughs> oh my gosh yeah well i have said that to you like I'm always just fascinated by his mind. That is a beautiful compliment. Thank you. So we are doing long <laughs> distance. Uh, will We're lives... doing a, It's an international relationship. Yes. I'm in Canada. He's in America. And... <laughs> <laughs> America. <laughs> and uh, we are... Basically, we have to travel to places like Bora Bora. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Oh,
about to get laid. How are you? I'm good. We're leaving the airport. And we're just like a couple tourists just filming everything. <laughs> to Bora Bora. It is so gosh darn beautiful. Absolutely unreal. So I'm really excited to bring you along the next couple days. We have two nights in this overwater bungalow which is an absolute dream to stay at and I'm excited to get some footage for you guys and share my adventure with you. Stop messing with me so much. Oh, no. I want to give you a quick tour of our overwater bungalow. We have some bikes. We've been riding around the resort. You come in here, the big hallway leading to the bedroom where we sleep. We've got pretty view there, a pretty view here, and then we have the bathroom. So we got a jacuzzi, we got the shower with the rain coming out into the living room. We have this living space, little workspace. How cool is that? You can see the water under there. And then coming out here to the, I almost walked into the door, the deck. Look at this gorgeous view. Okay, you guys, I have my shampoo plant and my hibiscus parents that I mixed with a little extra shampoo plant. These traveled with me from Moraya to Bora Bora and I'm wearing my hibiscus swimsuit to go along with the occasion. But I actually used this yesterday and it left my hair feeling very very soft. I mean it's not a deep clean, it's a very gentle clean but I mean to rinse salt water out of your hair and wash salt water out of your hair it worked great but we are going to show you how I wash my hair with the shampoo plant using this gorgeous outdoor shower at our little water bungalow. The best boyfriend in the world, always problem solving for me. That shower, it doesn't stay on, so mm -hmm. I wanted to keep it on so I could wash my hair. So Will is creating some sort of, I don't know, he's, he's being an engineer and he's creating I'm not joking, this man is the most intelligent man in the whole entire world. He can fix anything. He did it! He managed to make the water stay on! I don't have to press the button. I don't have to press the button. Okay guys, for clarity, while Sarah's washing out her hair, all you have to do to get this shampoo and hair rinse done is fly to Tahiti, then take a ferry to Morea, go on a waterfall hike, where you collect shampoo plant and hibiscus flowers. Then go back to a really cute Airbnb where you put it in bottles. Uh, next day, fly to Bora Bora, stay at an overwater bungalow with an outdoor shower, um, apply and rinse. That's all you gotta do. We're on our way to our last breakfast in Bora Bora. Are you excited? 
Excited? Yeah. I'm so excited. We're gonna. It's probably the best I've felt eating this whole trip. I've been I sick our other meals, but I'm gonna fully enjoy. Oh, we're gonna go hard. I'm gonna show you guys the view. We wish it was the pineapple <laughs> juice, but I mean, delicious fresh squeezed orange juice is also out okay, there, I suppose. Uh, cheers. Cheers. I think we did that backwards. <laughs> I the pineapple. Stop! Stop. <laughs> We're gonna be on that hammock in a little bit. This is paradise, huh, baby? I never wanna leave. Look at your hair, it's looking all... Beachy. Beachy. From the shampoo. It actually worked, just feel it. Now that it's drying, it's so soft. It's his home now. We're not going anywhere. Nope. We're gonna barricade ourselves in the bungalow. <laughs> How about this? Where do you see our relationship going? Um, We've been long distance for a while, and you know, there's challenges with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would hope that it would end in marriage. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> Wait, you want to get married? Well, yeah. But William is very, he's sweating right now. It should be right now. <laughs> um, but that's okay, because it... Okay, that's Oh, okay. is it awkward now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, here, let's do something else then. Okay. Let's put this over here. Over here, it's that little dance we did. <laughs> think what you don't know is that I love you very much. Oh, you do know that. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I, oh my god! I saw somebody. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, it's my husband! <laughs> 
<laughs> my fiance. Fiance, we can be French now. Oh, we can be French. <laughs> oh, darling, <laughs> darling, it's just the most magnificent ring I've ever seen. <laughs> this whole trip to Bora Bora started off because I was chasing diamond medallion status on Delta. Yeah. I was like one trip away, or or just a few. It was this anyway. It doesn't matter. But I was. I was trying to get status on an airline. And then two weeks ago, I was <laughs> meditating to that dude that does the crystal singing. Oh, our boy, our boy. <laughs> our boy. And I thought, is this God throwing me a softball? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my dream man. Is my vein coming out? Stop my it, vein. Stop it. <laughs> when I get emotional, my vein comes out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have to tell our families. Oh, I called your parents this morning. Oh my gosh. Asked your dad. I thought we were coming out here so he could get diamond status again on Delta, but he was coming to give me diamond status on my head. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. How it all, like, what synchronicity were oh. This is so amazing. Is this a dream? Yes. This whole trip has felt like a dream. I know. This is literally the end of the trip. Uh, in 10 minutes, they're gonna take our bags over to the airport. Oh my so. gosh. Now you maybe also know why I was having an existential crisis at the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> He's doubting everything, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, what am I doing? Am I crazy? I love you. I love you too. I know you do. And I love the way that you love me. Is that why you asked me, do you love me this morning? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. And you give a really good answer. If you didn't, who knows? <laughs> we the love ring you guys. is perfect, but the only thing that's more perfect than the ring is this man. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. That's the end of the vlog. <laughs> Bye. Bye.